Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is microwave circulators. Before discussing this uh, circulator, we'll first learn what is Faraday's rotational principle because this Faraday's rotational principle, rather Faraday's devices uh, are used in uh, many microwave devices. For example, circulator, character and so on. Uh, so, ferrites are non-metallic materials having some important properties like rho. Rho means resistivity. Resistivity of this ferrite material is 10 raised to 14 times greater. This sign is uh, greater than 10 raised to 14 times greater than the metal. Then, epsilon r that is relative permittivity is in the range 10 to 15 and relative permeability that is mu r is around 1000. So these are the important characteristics of uh, ferrite materials. So basically ferrite material is a mixture of metallic oxide and ferrite oxide. This uh, powdered oxide materials are fired at around 1100 degrees centigrade and these uh, then these uh, metallic oxides are pressed on some metal sheets and then the ferrite material is formed. The ferrite contains atoms with large number of spinning electrons. We know that whenever there is a spinning actual of electrons, then magnetic dipoles are created. So due to uh, the large number of atoms which are containing spinning electrons, there is an effect of magnetism. Very important characteristics of ferrite devices because of which they are used in microwave applications is the non, they are non-reciprocal devices. In simplified language, what is a non-reciprocal device? If there are two waves, one is forward and one is backward wave, then these two waves are supposed to propagate, pass through certain material, then the material behaves differently for forward wave and backward wave. That means the characteristics when th these uh, waves are uh, traveling through the medium, the characteristics will change differently for the forward and backward wave. So this is the major characteristics, major property of the Faraday's uh, material. Uh, so if two circularly poli polarized waves, we know that there are different types of polarization. One of the types is circularly polarized, uh, polarized waves. So if two circularly polarized waves, let us say one a circularly polar polarized wave is in clockwise direction and another is in anti-clockwise direction. If two such circularly polarized wave penetrates, passes through the ferrite material, then the ferrite reacts differently for these two uh, waves. So this is the non-reciprocal characteristics of this ferrite device. Now, applications as far as microwaves are concerned, this uh, ferrite uh, materials are used to reduce the reflected power uh, in case of isolators they are used, then uh, they are used for modulation purpose and they are also used in switching circuits. Now, let us discuss the construction and working of a circulator, microwave circulator. From the exam point of view, you may expect the question like this. Uh, explain the working principle of circulator or explain the working of circulator along with the constructional details. So this is the basic symbol of the circulator. We are considering four port circulator. So there are four ports, port number one, two, three and four. As shown in this diagram, symbolic representation, uh, the ports are connected in clockwise direction. That means when we apply wave at port 1, it will be connected, it will be given to port 2, but it will not be given to port 4. Then the wave from port 2 will be given to port 3. Look at the arrows. So this will be circulated in a clockwise direction. But if you apply power or if you apply wave at port 1, it will not be connected to port 4 because the direction is opposite. So this is the basic principle of working of a circulator. It keeps on circulating uh, the wave from one port to the next port, next connected port in a clockwise direction. Now this is the constructional diagram of a circulator. As shown in this diagram, we are using four ports, port 1, port 2, port 3 and port 4. Then two couplers are used. This, this uh, diagram, this part shows the couplers. 
this is coupler one this one is coupler two the wave entering in any coupler as well as wave coming out from the coupler produces or obtains the phase shift of 90 degree very simple in case of coupler if the wave is entering into the coupler or if it is coming out from the coupler any coupler coupler one or coupler two there will be phase shift of 90 degree which is written over here this 90 degree phase shift i am talking about then two phase shifters are used these phase shifters are non reciprocal phase shifters that means there will be different phase shift for forward direction and for the backward direction so in case of phase shifter one look at this diagram if you are moving in this direction the phase shift will be 180 degree in the opposite direction in the backward direction let us say the phase shift provided by phase shifter one is 90 degree about this phase shifter two the phase shift in one direction, say forward direction, is 0 degree. I am talking about this part. This phase shift is 0 degree. And in the reverse way, it is 90 degree. Because these phase, shift, phase shifters are non-reciprocal. This is the property of non-reciprocal devices. Now this table shows what are the different phase shifts between uh, different ports. For example, if we are moving from port 1 to 2, look at the diagram. This whole table diagram is very simple. Just say port 1 to port 2. So when we move from port 1 to port 2, look at the arrow. This gives a phase shift of 180 degree. That's what I have written. Then from port 1 to 3, this is port 1, this is port 3. From port 1 to 2, look at the diagram, look at this arrow because we want to make a motion from port 1 to port 3. So phase shift is 90 degree. So this is 90 degree. Then from port 3 to port 4, this is port 3, this is port 4. When wave passes from port 3 to port 4, it should pass through phase shifter 2, which produces in the forward direction, this produces a phase shift of 0 degree, this one. So this is 0 degree. Then from 4 to 2, from port 4 to port 2, when the wave passes from port 4 to port 2, it has to pass through this coupler 2, which produces a phase shift of 90 degree. Then from 2 to 1, from port 2 to 1, look at this arrow, there is a phase shift of 90 degree. Then from port to 3, or 4 to port 3, again the wave has to pass through the phase shifter 2, which produces a phase shift of 90 degree. So just for the reference purpose, I have written the values in the tabular form. So this is the phase shift provided to the wave when any wave passes from one port to the another port. Now, what is our requirement? As we discussed in this diagram, if we apply wave to port 1, it should be coupled, it should be passed to the port 2 only. It should not couple, it should not uh, pass to port 4 because direction we clockwise consider clockwise. So, if we are applying a wave at port 1, look at this diagram. This uh, symbolic represents indicates we are applying a wave at port 1. So, when wave passes, through phase shifter 1, यहां पे देखो, port 1 को wave apply करेंगे, तो phase shifter 1 के through pass होगा, so when it reaches to port 2, there is a phase shift of 180 degree, यहां पे मैंने लिखा है PS1, that is phase shifter 1, so when wave passes from port 1 to 2, there is a phase shift of 180 degree, then this port 1, wave can well, see, we want that wave to be applied at port 1 and it should reach at port 2. So one wave, one path is directly from uh, through phase shifter 1 like this. That's what I explained. Yahan se yahan tab, jahan pe 180 degree ka phase shifter wa. Another path is the wave can move like this from port 1 to port 3, then through phase shifter 2 and then to uh, port 2. That is shown in this diagram. So from port 1, it is passing through coupler 1, it produces a phase shift of 90 degree, yahan ye wala direction, port 1 se port 3 tar. Then from port 3 to port 4, it gives a phase shift of 0 degree, that is phase shift 2, produces a phase shift of 0 degree. Then from port 4 to port 2, it gives a phase shift of 90 degree. So, dekho, is path mein, phase shift hai 180 degree, is path mein, we are getting a phase shift of 90 degree plus 0 degree, plus 90 degree so total phase shift is 180 degree that means if we are talking about two different paths 
the wave which is traveling from port 1 to port 2 following two different paths will be having equal phase shift that is 180 degree so these waves are added that means the wave which is applied to port 1 will be coupled or will be available at port 2 because two different paths are followed and during two uh, separate different paths the phase shift remains same that is 180 degree now let us discuss why the wave is coupled from port 1 to port 2 why not from port 1 to port 4 so if i'm talking about the same thing wave is applied at port 1 and we want what happens when the wave reaches at port 4 again there are two parts Dekho, ye ek path ye hai from this point to this point so when the wave passes from port 1 i'm talking uh, the case when wave is applied at port 1 why it is not given or coupled to port 4 so when wave is applied at port 1 it passes initially through phase shifter 1 which produces a phase shift of 180 degree but direction se. Phir port 2 se port 4 ta, it has to pass through coupler 2 which produces a phase shift of 90 degree so this gives total phase shift of 270 degree if i am talking about this part there is one more possible path from port 1 to port 3 the wave will travel like this it has to pass through uh, this coupler 1 so phase shift is 90 degree then from 3 to 4 it will follow this path there will be phase shift of 0 degree so it will reach up to port 4 and this path phase shift becomes 90 degree so at port 4 these two waves one is causing a phase shift of 270 degree another is producing a phase shift of 90 degree so these two waves are in opposite phase so power will not be coupled from port 1 to port 4 so this is the way how the circulator works next part is circulators using magic tees dekho exam mein agar question directly aisa hai ki uh, explain the circulator using magic tea then and then only you will have to refer this diagram and you will have to write the explanation related to this part iske pehle ka jo circulator tha that was a circulator using faraday's principle or faraday rotation this is circulator using magic tea uh here two magic teas are used magic tea one and magic tea two make the thing simple aise yaad rakhna hai uh we have already learned in case of magic tea there are four terminals so terminal number one two three four just say they go yeah magic t1 a yeah terminal number one two three four same way in case of magic two a uh, magic t2 again there are four terminals one two three and four we have to combine these two magic t so that we have to form a circulator which will be having four ports jo iske pehle humne circulator discuss kiya usme bhi hum logon ne four port ka circul, uh, circulator discuss kiya so the two magic t's magic t1 and magic t2 are connected like this as shown in this diagram yahan pe ek phase shifter use kiya hai in one direction the phase shift is 0 degree in opposite direction in downward direction phase shift is 180 degree okay ab dekho port 1 is same as terminal 1 of magic t1 port 2 i'm dekho don't get confused aise yaad rakh lo ye do magic t's hum log combine kar rahe hain aur ek four port circulator taiyar kar rahe hain so port 1 of circulator is same as terminal 1 of magic t1 port 2 of the circulator is same as terminal 1 of magic t2 then port 3 this is port 3 port 3 is same as terminal 4 of magic t1 port 4 is same as terminal 4 of magic t2 now consider one case what is our requirement we want to couple uh, from port 1 to port 2 means if we apply wave to port 1 it should be coupled to port 2 but reverse should not happen so let us say we are exciting port 1 we are applying a uh, wave to port 1 Ab dekho, ya port 1 mein apply karenge, so wave will come out from terminal 2 and terminal 3 of this uh, uh, this magic t1 यहां पे पोर्ट 1 को हम लोग वेव अप्लाई कर रहे हैं मतलब आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस टर्मिनल 1 यहां पे वेव अप्लाई कर रहे हैं व्हिच इज सेम एज पोर्ट 1 ऑफ सर्कुलेटर तो 2 और 3 टर्मिनल 2 और 3 ऑफ मैजिक टी द वेव विल कम आउट फ्रॉम टर्मिनल 2 एंड 3 ऑफ मैजिक टी 1 दिस 
terminal 3 is directly connected to terminal 3 of magic t2 and this is connected to terminal 3 of magic t2 whereas this terminal 2 is applied like this it is passing through this phase shifter अब देखो ये फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन मतलब यहां पे वेव अप्लाई करेंगे तो ये एक पाथ ऐसा होगा यहां से यहां से फेस शिफ्ट है 0 डिग्री दिस वेव इज अप्लाइड टू दिस टर्मिनल 2 ऑफ मैजिक टी 2 तो यहां पे आ जाएगा नाउ <coughs> ये यहां पे जो वेव अप्लाई किया है वो डायरेक्टली यहां पे आ जाएगा दिस पार्ट इज डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड टू दिस सो टू द टर्मिनल 2 एंड टू द टर्मिनल 3 the waves which are reaching are in same phase these waves will be combined and will be available at terminal 1 that is at core 2 because dono directions se dono paths se zero phase shift aa raha hai so we when we apply wave to port 1 it will be coupled to port 2 reverse case aisa soch lo hum logo ne port 2 ko wave apply kiya yahan pe यहां पे वेव अप्लाई किया सो इट विल बी अवेलेबल एट पोर्ट 2 एंड पोर्ट 3 ऑफ मैजिक टी 2 पोर्ट 2 से द वेव विल फॉलो दिस पाथ इट प्रोड्यूसेस अ फेस शिफ्ट ऑफ 180 डिग्री इट विल बी अवेलेबल एट दिस पॉइंट यहां पे 2 पे आ जाएगा यहां वेव अप्लाई किया है सेम वेव विल अपीयर एट टर्मिनल 3 ये डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड है तो यहां कोई फेस शिफ्ट नहीं मतलब 0 डिग्री फेस शिफ्ट है तो दो पाथ से ये एक यहां से यहां डायरेक्टली आ रहा है और एक दूसरा फेस शिफ्ट के थ्रू आ रहा है दोनों पाथ से फेस शिफ्ट इज 180 डिग्री दैट मींस दिस टू वेव्स आर आउट ऑफ फेस सो व्हेन वी अप्लाई वेव टू पोर्ट 2 इट विल नॉट बी कपल्ड टू पोर्ट 1 सो देयर इज अ डायरेक्ट कपलिंग फ्रॉम पोर्ट 1 टू 2 बट कपलिंग इज नॉट पॉसिबल फ्रॉम पोर्ट 2 टू पोर्ट 1 of the circulator so this diagram works as a circulator means we are using two magic t's and it will work as a circulator so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video